For our balance and falls patients, we do a test called the five times sit to stand test. This is a test that is, has some normative values in the scientific literature so we can actually compare your results to patients that have the similar problem, a prob problem with falls or balance. So in this test, I'm going to be starting in a seated position here with my back straight and I'm going to go up and down five times and Jennifer is going to time me and let me how, know how, how many seconds it takes me to do this five times. Now this test is an important test in balance. It tests two major functions in balance. It tests anticipatory control. What that means is there are muscles in my spine and my hips and my ankles as well that have to tighten before I even start to stand up. So my brain has to anticipate what I need to do. In addition, I know what I'm gonna do so I can practice it and I can, my brain can work out the steps. I can even mentally rehearse it if I want. That's why it's called an anticipatory postural control test. On the other hand, if I was knocked off balance and I didn't know what was going to happen prior to that, that's a reactionary movement and my nervous system reacts completely differently under those conditions. So again, this is anticipatory postural control and one other thing, it also trains the strength in my ankles, knees and hips, which are very important for balance. So I'm going to do this five times and then Jennifer will be able to tell me how long it took me and you can also, Jennifer, tell me when to start. Ready? Set, go. Okay, 8.64. Okay, 8.64 seconds, and that is again the five times sit this in test. 